And welcome, guys and girls. My name is Gadgets, and this is episode 13. Wow, nice. 13 episodes. Cool. So, uh, this is Feed the Beast Infinity Skyblock. Let's jump in and see how our tree farm and everything's going. We've got a few people on, and it is pretty cool. Uh, so last episode we got our steam boiler up and running and it looks like our tree farm is all maxed out now and looking lovely. Uh, and we got a little bit of excess dirt in here, which is nice. So that should be pretty self-sufficient. We're going to have to get onto the apples and probably add a bit more of this stuff, fertilizer stuff. And... Oh, nice. Our wood's maxed out and continuing to feed. And over here, our steam boiler is up and running. So today, I want to kick this guy on and uh, get it generating some power. Because I think I want to make these dynamos from last time. So we need coal chunks, obsidian, and coal balls, which is just a bunch of coal dust surrounded by flint, and thermal expansion coal, sag mill, pulverizer. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we can get coal dust. Got thermal. Yeah, grindstone. So we can do it manually if need be, which is pretty cool. So I think... Oh, butterflies too. Look, a little butterfly. Anyway, uh, if we get some coal and do it manually, because I don't think we can grind up that coal any other way. But I'll have to look at it some other way. Hmm. Metal former, nothing. Oh, I guess we could make a pulverizer. Because that would be a little bit of a easier way to do it. Because we do need a bunch of crushed coal. So... Let's see if we can get that. Crush coal, lots of crush coal. Let's jump down here and grab our frames out, I think. Oh, hang on. What am I saying? We have a pulverizer. Okay. Oh, man. I completely forgot about that. We don't have to grind it up manually. We just have to put it into the pulverizer right here. All right, let's go grab some coal then. <laughs> Hang on. You know what? I bet you there's coal. Yeah, there's coal right here. Jeez. All right, let's grab two stacks and we'll grind up two stacks. Man, don't I just feel... No, not you. Don't do pulverized charcoal. Thank you very much. Where'd you go? Hang on, I'm going to turn this side off. There we go, uh, off. And we'll chuck... Stack of coal in there, stack of coal in there. Like so, get that all up and done. And then we need a fair bit of this, our flint. Now I want at least 10 maybe more of these guys so that's a thing and we're just going to place it around also i worked out last episode um in the speedy bit at the end that this guy actually does connect to this and throw in the charcoal automatically so we don't really have to worry about it and that's pretty much useless to us Let's just chuck it off over here. Deal with that later. 
So let's get all the stuff ready. Um, we need some redstone chips, so we're going to need to connect up that guy over there with some type of power from somewhere. I think we might have to steal it from uh, this little ca capacitor up here for now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have any? Yes, I do I have two. Nice. Grab you and break this guy. So yeah, uh, I'll get all the stuff ready for that and we'll be back once we have a different type of power generation. Okay guys, so I think we're ready. Uh, we have our eight cobbles, which we need. And then we need to chuck our eight cobbles into here, which I've already compressed up some. And we'll compress those ones up as well. Uh, then we chuck this around our obsidian to get our coal chunk. And we chuck our coal chunk in here with our redstone transmission coil and our redstone chipset and we have ourselves a steam dynamo so i'm going to take this guy downstairs and we're going to fire up our steam turbine what i had to do in the meantime is we keep running out of power up there and around in places so i've jerry-rigged a line all the way from down there all the way over here and down to the water wheel so that we can flog some power from that now i don't know where i'm going to stick these guys but i'm probably thinking somewhere like maybe here or somewhere and just have them in front of the steam boiler but we need to hook it up so that then we can stop stealing power. And I need some cables. And I need you. Yeah, we need transfer nodes. I've got you downstairs because we'll break that. Grab you as well. And this guy. And. I need some coal or something to get it going. Yeah, there we go. Charcoal. So, yeah, I got the transfer nodes. So let's check you here, like so. And then we'll hook that up and get it all cooked up in here. Like so, and that will probably chuck in here and get this all started. Hopefully this will be enough steam. Yeah, it should be. But if we go bang like this and bang like this, that's going to chuck in a little bit of extra steam that these guys have. And this guy's got a fair bit of leftover steam, so... I can't see why it wouldn't be enough. But what we're also going to do is run that guy down to there. Steal a little bit of this steam off of it as power and then break that. Because I only want to generate a bit so that we can hook it up to the system. Maybe. Actually, no, it's probably not worth breaking this just yet. And I'm actually pro I'm going to maybe stick another steam boiler here. And then we'll just run like 10 across here. So oh, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so it should be okay. 
Anyway, let's wait and see if this guy heats up, or, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so this is all up and running. We're producing enough steam now. So I didn't need to use any of my coal blocks. It was pretty cool. Uh, I've torn down that line uh, because we don't really need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is... We're going to come up here, and I made up a little recipe of these leadstone fluctuating ducks, or whatever they're called. Uh, they do 200 RF a tick per connection, but we're not actually going to use them for that. What I want to do with them is placement. They're going to help us place these guys. Because I want to place that guy there. And then I want to place this guy right here. And then we're going to break this again. Now they're all line, uh, up and running. We can chuck these either side. And hook up this to here. And this to here. And we should be getting power. So these guys are running at 40, 40 50R for tick. They should slowly increase to 80 to get everything up and running and then drop back down. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, they're both running at 80. So we're running a nice 160RF, which is awesome. That's definitely enough to keep all of this stuff running and it should also be enough so I can break that and this I'm just gonna tidy it up a little bit no and it should also be enough to run these cables as well well run the lasers as well so if I hook you up to you, then like that, across to here, and then down to here, and then up to here, and then down to here, and back up to the top, and we should have everything running. Get all of these lasers powering nice, excellent. Alright, so, we have... A bunch more coming through so we'll be able to uh, get a bit more steam production going we have a fair bit of this stuff and now I can break these and I want to see if this actually feeds the steam into it it looks like it does so all we need to do is chuck that on doesn't seem to place this in quite so far, so I'm just going to take this and place it in here. And that should keep it up and full. Yeah. It should keep enough in there to keep it going. Which is awesome. And that means all of this over here. Oh, we're running out of running a little bit out of power. Because this guy's running full and this guy is full. I thought these did twenty R for tick. Maybe upstairs is still in a bit of power, but it doesn't really matter. We're only making um, redstone chipsets right now. To make more power. And once we have those, we'll be all good. So, the last thing I wanted to get onto today is I want witch water. Because with witch water, I can get uh, onto getting some storage and a few other things, which will help out a lot. Uh, but I need... Do I not have a barrel? Oh, let's just make a stone barrel. I prefer the way the stone barrels look anyway.
Uh, I need seven, so fourteen. And then it's this guy on the bottom with this guy around. Okay, so I got too many. Chuck some of those. No, I want you. I don't want you. And tons and tons of inventory problems. Six, so I need one more of those. And this should do a spam. I, I'll wait till I get eight of these. But we can just balance the grid, can't we? No. Alright. Anyway, uh, which water? So we need an ancient spore. Which I should have one of those lying around somewhere. Probably in this chest. Yeah, there we go. We've got seven. And a piece of dirt. Any other piece will do. I've even got one here. Let's take you. Alright, so it looks like I've used all my dirt, so let's run down here and grab some. Okay, so we got a barrel. Uh, it's full of water now because we chucked it beside. I'm just going to try to keep all this fairly close together. I don't think it's going to affect this one too much, but you never know. And we'll just chuck that down and we get our mycelium. And this should start transforming into witch water. And then if we grab some sand, which I freaking should have got sand from over here. And then if we right click on it with our sand, we get ourselves some soul sand. I just gotta wait for that to fill back up and turn back into rich water. And then we can. And I'm hoping I get this first go, but the likelihood of that is zero to none. So let's see. Chuck you there and sift this soul sand. So we've got nether wart, that's pretty good. We need that. And we got nether quartz. Let's see what we got this time. Just nether quartz. Alright, well, I'm going to do this for a little bit until I get what I want. And then we'll be back. Alright, so, and there we have it. That's what I wanted a gas tier. Because what I'm going to do is if we grab four of these and we chuck them in this arrangement with a gas tier in the middle, we get ourselves a safari net. And what we need to do then is wait for an enderman to spawn in our little trap over here. Which, ah, speak of the devil, we got two. So, if we grab this guy, and we turn this off, and chuck, I don't know, like, well, we're going to need silver, I don't know if it's silver, actually, let's just chuck a piece of iron through. So, we chuck a piece of iron in that, uh, hopefully that will melt up pretty quick. How much obsidian? Have we filled this barrel yet? Not quite. I just want a full barrel of obsidian. But... Come on, hurry up. Because I don't want this other enderman getting away either. Stay here, please. You'll give me enough of what I want. And there we go, we've got our molten stuff in there. And then if we right click on that, that Enderman should have fallen in, but he doesn't seem to want to play nice, so let's pick him up again. And see if we can make him fall in there correctly. So. 
and that's going to give us resin and ender, which we can then make up into our enderium uh, blend and make our enderium ingots with. Now, I don't know if I can make a derium in the smeltery. I think they disabled that. Uh, so, alloy smelter, alloy furnace, molten enderium. Looks like we can still make it. Ah, uh, but it's not giving us the recipe, so we can make it if we melt it down. So, we still need to make it. Oh no, here it is. So, one ingot of silver, uh, one, two ingots of tin, one ingot of shiny, and a bucket. So, how much did that guy give us? That guy gave us enough. So, that, that recipe actually gives us enough of what we need, I think. Hang on, let's see. And that should give us four ingots. Yeah, that's nice. All right, we can probably do that. So, one of you, one of you, and what was it? Dun, dun, dun. Shiny, two tin, and one silver. Shiny to tin. Where's my tin? Did I? Oh no, it'll be over here. Like, did I use all my tin? I wouldn't have thought I used all my tin. Tin, tin, where be the tin? There we go. So, one. Oh, hang on. Two, one, one. So there we go. Let's get rid of you. Ah, uh, hang on. Not let's get rid of you. Let's turn you off. Hmm. Items. Liquids. Just because I don't like to waste stuff. Let's pump that back into there. Yep. Let's grab you out and switch you out for the ingot. And that means with... Hang on, let's quickly make sure that we... He might have despawned. Oh no, he's still there. Good boy. I want to turn you into Resonant Ender. Thank you very much. Oh, we've got another one right here. Alright, well, we'll just chuck this guy straight through. So let's chuck you in there. And one more. Enderium, four ingots. Nice. I think... I want the resonant frame, don't I? Uh, hang on. So, our resonant frame is a lot of RF, but... If we can get the dense refined iron pretty easy and the emerald chipset, actually we should probably start on that right now. Because that's going to take time and then we need a gear. So I took the gear out when I should have just left it in there. And let's chuck you back on. Take that out, that gear out. Let's get the rest of the stuff we need. I'm pretty sure I have 
this guy and we have the crushed obsidian. Emeralds we've got two. And probably got redstone downstairs anyway, so we don't really need to look for redstone. We need to find our crushed obsidian. There we go. Two of you. And the circuit. That's all I need, yeah? You and those, yes. So this obviously isn't going to provide us with the best thing, but well, you're going really well. What we can do here is, again, this is probably going to take a really, really, really long time. But, yeah, this is what this guy's going to take forever. But what we can do is, uh, in between, I'll get this with that gear and everything. And so let's make up this dense refined plate as well. And we will have a resin frame to get our B space. But, ah, uh, yeah, we need two of those. So we need, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we need one more U, one more U, and two more of this one over here. Just lucky we ended up with three Endermen. And take that fertilizer and take you as well. Chuck. Two, one, and one. Grab this one. And the one more emerald. So I'll make up these two chipsets and everything. And I'll get all of this sorted in between episodes. But yeah, it should be good. All right, redstone. Oh, that emerald one, no, not you. That emerald's not gonna take too long. That is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I'll get that, I'll get two of those frames made up and all of that type of thing. And in the meantime, yeah, sorry. In the meantime, I'll get all that set up. And I guess we'll just have to call it there. So, if you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to hit that follow and like. And if you'd like to join the server, the information is down in the description below. Alright, guys. See you later.